I study how bees collect and transport pollen back to their hives. Pollen is the main source of protein in a bee's diet, so it's really important that they're able to collect enough of it for the hive. When they carry it, they mix it with nectar and um, carry it in the form of suspension, so solid particles and a liquid particle on their legs. So I've been studying the fluid properties of that uh, pellet that they form out of the suspension and how it adheres to the leg. And I used SEM, so scanning electron micrographs, to actually look at these pellets really, really close up and see the pollen grains in um, the nectar. The volume fraction, so the number of, of pollen particles per volume of this pellet is a, a maximum for what is theoretically possible. Um, so it's really impressive that they're able, without even really thinking about it, they're able to maximize the number of pollen particles they can bring back to the, to the hive. I'm studying them from a fluids perspective as well, and I was able to measure the viscosity, so how thick the suspension is, and I found that the it, including the pollen in the nectar increases the viscosity uh, 10,000 times from just nectar alone, um, which is good because if you think of something um, that has a low viscosity so it flows really easily, it'd be hard to get it to stick to the leg. It wouldn't stay, which would be really bad news for the bee because it would spend all this time collecting pollen and then it would fall off. It'd be very sad. Uh, so, uh, and then from there I looked at, you know, how strongly these pellets are um, adhere to the leg. Um, so I did this by uh, gluing a leg to a, just a slide and then gluing a wire to the pellet and pulling it off with an elastic string. So the elastic string acts like a spring, so you can measure the amount that this, this string deflects and then you can measure the force that way. Uh, and I found that um, the force to remove the basket is 24 times greater than any drag force a bee experiences while it's flying. Um, so again, good news because you know, the bee is not going to lose the thing it worked so hard um, to uh, to, to fill up and bring back to the hive.